Well, here we are again, filling up uh, printer ink cartridges. This is from an HP, but uh, there are some others that it also works for. I've just done two. There's a red and a blue. Um, these are not the original cartridges that came with the machine. They're a generic cartridge, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can use the, generic, the cartridges that came with the machine as well, or a, or a, a proper OEM. Um, HP cartridge. Um, so, as you can see, here's the tank of ink, and just make sure you can get a close up of that. Here's the tank of ink, and uh, here is the sponge which absorbs the ink, and it absorbs the ink through a little inlet at the very base. And it's a very, very simple procedure, which I'll do quickly now. Make sure you get a close up. Uh, and so you could use a drill, you could use any kind of tool to make a hole uh, in the base there. It doesn't really matter where along here you make the hole, but make it about anywhere from about a centimetre in from the edge. It's, it's on the tank side, which will take about 10 seconds. Be careful of your fingers that you don't slip and gouge yourself with the scissors. Slowly cutting in. I used to do this with a drill, but it's just as easy like this. And you can refill like this hundreds of times. Maybe not hundreds, but lots and lots. You can just keep redoing it. And you don't have to you don't have to keep making a new hole all the time. You can just use the same hole over and over again once you've made this hole. So this is only a once-off for every cartridge that you do. So that's made a hole now, it's quite small. You can see over here on these ones that I fixed up the hole afterwards with uh, blue tack over the top. So, um, at the moment now the pressure has been released from inside and the ink will, there used to be ink, if you have a look back a minute ago you'll see there used to be ink in here but it's all flowed now into the sponge container which is good, we want ink to come out of there eventually. So here's my yellow ink, which is just generic ink, which you can order online on eBay. There are lots of sites that, that do it. And you fill up the, contain, up the tank. If it was completely empty, it normally takes about three of these syringes. Each syringe is two and a half mils. Okay. So here we go, insert it in, and away we go. One, two, so we want to stop when the drips start coming out of the stop start coming out of the sponge out of the outlet hole down here. Okay, here's number three. You'll see that the sponge is getting fuller too as the ink travels into it, and there we go. So it's just popped in there. I put my thumb over the bottom to stop it from coming out because we need to repressurize the container, give it a bit of suction on the top, like a straw with your finger on the top. Make sure you do up the bottle quickly, otherwise if you might spill it, it'll make a terrible mess. Uh, get any tissue that you can just had a slight interruption there so we just took the tissue tapped it on the top to get rid of any excess ink that was on the hole get your little blue tack which you should be able to find anywhere in the world I think there's another company called Yoohoo UHU they make Yoohoo tack and there's the hole and just stick it on the top and squeeze it down squeeze that down it stays in goes into the hole a little bit probably now release your finger and you'll see just like a straw the liquid has stopped coming out give it a bit of a tap down on a tissue just to get rid of the excess liquid on the outlet hole and so you'll see it's all been filled up the sponge is nice and strongly filled up as well and it's done